I want to follow up on Cecilia's question, and sorry if I missed it, but on Friday, did you or did you not know about the additional five I, I already, I literally just answered that question. But I, I, I missed just, it, so is it yes or well, no? Well, I, I mean, you're, you're not too far sitting next to her, so I was very clear. I provided, I provided the information that you all had at the time, and know? I confirmed. No, I did not know. I'm saying I had the information. I actually said this to Cecilia. I had the information that you all had at the time, right? And so this is why I also said to Cecilia, this is why we are trying to be very prudent here, and we are trying to be very consistent and say this is an ongoing uh, legal process. And this is why I say we're just not going to comment from here. That is a perfect example in Cecilia's question, and I was very clear about that. When did you learn about the documents found at the Penn Center in November and in Wilmington in December? When your team was in, was uh, doing a story on it. Got it. Um, because I was also asked a similar question about if our team has been engaged on this. And I've been very clear. This is something that the White House counsel is handling. This is something that uh, is being handled by the president's uh, lawyers. I've been very clear. That's why we are, this is why we are being prudent here. This is why we're being consistent with what we have done the last two years when it comes to DOJ, Department of Justice investigation. We are just not going to interfere. Well, on that, no on that note, you've repeatedly emphasized the need, just as you did today, for independence, for integrity um, of the Department of Justice investigation. One reason why you continue to point us to the DOJ. So I wonder why then did the White House counsel go to Wilmington to facilitate the handing over of documents to the DOJ? That is, How a, is that separate? That How is, is that separating the White House from the DOJ? And Weijia, I appreciate the questions. I know there's going to continue to be dozens more questions probably today. And I will say, reach out to the White House counsel's office. That's one of the reasons my colleague was uh, on the phone with many of you taking questions uh, today. And I'm just going to leave it there. That is something for them to answer. Okay, but it's related to something that you keep telling us, which is how much it is important to this White House to separate the White House from the DOJ's investigation. But the White House counsel was the one to go and facilitate the documents, to look for the documents. Again, they have been working very closely with the Department of Justice. I would refer you to them. If you want to know specifically about their actions, specifically about what they're doing, I would point you to the White House Counsel's Office. Look, guys, you guys can ask me this 100 times, 200 times if you wish. I'm going to keep saying the same thing. I hear your question. It's been asked. It's been answered. It's been noted. And we're just going to try to move on here. Uh, and we're going to move on. One we're more. Going to move on. We're going to move on. One false more. Information. We're going to move One on. more, um, because Ian did have that call today. And he said that the White House would, quote, fully cooperate um, with the investigation. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that President Biden uh, is willing to be interviewed if called on? I'm just not going to. You're asking a question that should go to the White House Counsel's Office. As you just said, Ian, uh, you spoke to, to my colleague just moments ago. That is something that the White House Counsel's Office should be answering. Uh, any spe anything specific to the DOJ or special counsel, uh, 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 what they're doing, uh, you need to reach out to them. Go ahead, Tam. Yeah. Um, 